Hey everybody, uh, Eric here with VBAHowTo.com, LobogobbleServices.com. I received an email, and in that email, it was uh, a question in regards to uh, how do you hide some, how do you hide some some boxes, the rest of your forms collection, uh, if you, you de uh, depend upon a selection. I want to hide other text boxes based on what I select in one box or enter one box. So uh, you can vary this technique of it. That's what I'm going to be thinking. I came up with a little example. I thought it may help you out. Uh, so if you look here, here's my little form. Oh, in this uh, video, you're going to find out how to loop through the collection, the forms controls collections. Okay, these are all the text boxes. And these are just generic, and you may find it. The point of this video is to show you how to uh, limit the user's focus. Okay, like if I if I go here and I select th uh, four, one through four, show text box one through four. I'm showing text boxes one through four. If I want to show all of them, I go ahead and show all of them. If I show, if I want uh, items one through three. I go ahead and uh, hide the rest, okay? Click hide the rest. Now, it allows me to uh, limit my user focus, my user's focus just to enter into these three fields. So I can enter, uh, I can enter we, uh, I can enter DF, DF here. Okay, and I don't see anything else. So I'm limiting my selection just to my focus just to these three boxes so uh, we're learning about the uh, we're learning about the control array here uh, we're learning about the the U bound and select A's okay let me take in the in the into the code here okay I uh, based on my selections I'm gonna go ahead and show you show you all these and let's let's go to very point I can show you right now hi the rest <clears throat> notice how I chose three my select hint says uh oh I can't use the step throughs so I gotta go debug and step uh, all I want to do is view the whole the whole thing and let's see where's that well, sorry, folks. Step, uh, step into F8. Well, I guess I'm about to go through and edit. No, about that debug. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Excuse me, folks. Now look at this. While I'm here, I might as well show you this. Step into F8. Okay, I can't do F8 because I'm recording a video right now. So I'm clicking this button right here. And now I chose three. So my collection uh, is four. If again, okay, you could use this technique also to pass variables between forms. Like if you're Passing a uh, passing some open args between uh, yeah the if you're testing for the if an open arg has been passed shall form put your open args into a, into a common delimited string like this and say I want the the first part of it man you could you could really I mean, the the choices the options are pretty much endless here. I want you can have all these different arguments. Uh, just keep you can make a, a whole list of items if you're trying to figure out how to pass a, pass an argument between forms. Okay, you can do it in a on a web page your query string. Uh, you can pass you can pass your arguments between between your forms like this. Okay, uh, pass your parameters and separate them by commas. Okay. Don't want to don't want to dwell too much in that topic. Now step into F8. <clears throat> Notice that my my string here is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going down here and I'm saying, okay, well now I'm going down here and I'm saying, 
Okay, I made a little sub procedure. You can make it a function if you want. Uh, it it just does something. It hides. Okay, that's the whole purpose of this. Let's see if I can um, go ahead and air it down here. Press enter. Hide these. Hide four. Hide four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, notice the split function. Okay, split is a really nice way of breaking up your arguments into an array. Okay, into into array. I stick this array into this variant here. Notice this, this is my variant here. Var these, var these is a variant. I dimension that it's variant. I need something really big. It's not really a string. It's a uh, it's something big, some variant. So I just and and here I'm storing the name of the control in this in this variable right here, and I'm appending it to to this. Okay, to my var these, and then here I'm saying, okay, hide the control. What control? The name of the control. So my name, my form, my form, forms names frm main controls in the control name dot visible equals false. Okay, and then I'm looping, I'm doing the same thing, everything in the array. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and step over and run, bang. Okay, and my show the show all button does the same thing, but it's not. There's no, uh, there's no argument here. I'm just showing everything on the screen. So, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I want you to come on out to vbahowto.com and you can get the, get the database here. Uh, vbahowto.com. Again, my name's Eric and, uh, make sure you leave a comment or subscribe. <clears throat> and you'll be, uh, if you can't figure out how I did it, get the go come on out. You can come on out to the the website vbahowto.com, get the database and see the code. Okay, get get a copy of the code. I highly suggest that some of y'all learn by modeling. I know I do. You want a model of how it's done? Well, come on out and get it. And uh, vbahowto.com show. Okay. So again, thanks for thanks for watching. I'm Eric. VBAHowTo.com is the place to come to. Thanks.